It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It's Express All Right here on SABC3. Now, last week you would have seen that our very own cat was. AWOL, missing in action, but he was in Dubai living his best <laughs> life and we are dying to find out what that experience We've was like. We've seen your little videos great. that you've sent, very cool man, we're all <laughs> a little bit jealous. Okay, first and foremost, what are we doing there exactly? Well, I mean, as South Africans, we all love travel, right? Yeah. And I think yeah. this was a great opportunity in collaboration with uh, Visit Dubai and the Dubai Tourism Authority to oh, nice. just showcase what Dubai really is. And more than just... Hey. Um, that the Burj Khalifa? That's, that's the cool Burj, Khali shots. Burj Khalifa. Khalifa. Um, oh. A place with more than just shiny, expensive cars yeah. and high-rise buildings. There was just so much more to it and an opportunity to really delve into the history, mm. the culture, the food, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and everything that is Dubai in that short amount of time because we were only there for five days yeah. and we had to uh, absorb a lot. Wow. wow. So what were yeah. some of the moments yeah. that stood out for you the most? Yeah. The places that you visited that were amazing? I've got to say the desert safari that we had oh. was one of my that favorites. So, cool. so we got to, you see in the far back there, there's this yeah. 1950s, 1950s Land Rover and those Very were cool. the, the first Land Rovers that were used to discover oil in that Are Middle Eastern yeah. area, oh. these kind of ones, yeah. And so they took us on a desert safari and the falconeering experience oh. was one of the yeah. The, the ones we got to have. I, yeah, I got to hold one of these so bad boys. Really? Yeah. yeah. You must have just flown past you very, very quickly, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to learn about how the Bedouin people trained these falcons and how the relationship between mm. them and, and you know survival, food and hunting developed over the years. Such now it's mm. it's 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 been respected by the United Nations as uh, an intangible part of human heritage. Yeah. Wow. Falconeering yeah. as a, as a, as a and sport. And I love how they're craft. still trying to preserve the Bedouin culture yeah. as well yeah. and make sure that it's not lost. You Absolutely. Did, did you do your safari in the daytime? It was in the daytime. Oh, I did one at but night. It went from the daytime in the afternoon oh. all the way through to the Romantic. evening because it ended off with um, like a dinner, vibe, with a yeah. dinner oh. and oh man, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But now you also got dressed up and you immersed yourself in the culture, Kelly. What were some wow, of the standout you, things Mr. about Emirati. the culture and this, living in that space? This is, is this is me as Sheikh Cat. Huh? Okay. Sheikh you know, I, I assumed my role. Is as... it still Cat or is it Chet? No, no, no. Because <laughs> everything is. No, you, <laughs> no, you, you need an H after that. Oh, okay. Little Sheikh Cat. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, I was really getting involved, and this was um, a beautiful oh, cultural experience that we had, where uh, you know one of the the ladies, who's obviously an Emirati, really just gave us a, a bit down history of um, the country, where it comes from. And at the end of the, that entire presentation, she gave us, we got to ask questions, and I got to ask her like, so what was life, or what is life like yeah. in, let's say, a, a homestead like this? Yeah. And we were sitting in the quarter yeah. where um, we dished up just mm. beautiful, beautiful food. Food and wow. got got to engage in conversation mm. and uh, that yeah I think that was when I had my first bite and I was like you is, it nice? yeah. is that good <laughs> is that good I didn't know <laughs> and I, 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 I went in like with the hands yeah. and everything yeah. man. Is, it, is it as opulent as it looks on people's Instagram posts because I mean everything looks so expensive and like gold yeah. and diamonds everywhere yeah. is it like frame, that? that's the beauty of this yeah. Dubai frame right mm. yes okay fine you do get the opulent side mm. of Dubai but Dubai, as showcased in this frame, when you get to the very, very top, there's a viewing point where on the right-hand side, or depending on where you're standing, oh, mm, wow. well, firstly, 150 meter oh, drop. Oh my goodness, can you wow. see through that? Yeah, 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 the Ooh. glass is opaque, and when you step on it, it goes clear, and I've you got see a down. <laughs> wow. I just but, see over my But here's the beauty, but, uh, the beauty of it. On the one side, you see New Dubai, you know, mm. all those beautiful high-rise buildings that we're used to seeing in every yeah. picture, postcard, and the expensive cars, cool, that's one thing. On the other side is Old Dubai, and you get yeah. to see where this place actually came from mm. uh, before it turned into this bus metropolis that is I think yeah. one of the most inspiring cities in the yeah. world yeah. Um, I mean one of their, their mottos if you will um, by Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum is that the word impossible doesn't exist in our vocabulary of course mm. it doesn't. and that just kind of puts mm. you in the picture yeah. when you think about the fact that some 50 years ago yeah. what we now see as Dubai didn't exist that yeah. way yeah, just exactly. desert yeah. and in it that in so half quickly. a century they've done that yeah. Yeah. whenever I think of insane. Dubai I think about that Come quote on. impossible is nothing Oh, yeah. wow! because with them nothing is impossible, impossible. Wow, wow you look like you had the best time I you're did. glowing melanin popping pop you guys my Dubai glow shake okay well if you want to find out more about the details of of what Ket got up to out in Dubai, then make sure you stay tuned to Expresso over the next coming weeks because we're going to be sharing all of his experiences on the show and you don't want to miss any of it. Sheikh Ket. <laughs> 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 <laughs>